Hi guys, it is Tosh Point Bro. Oh, I like the oven on. Mm. It'll be okay. I can see it, ain't nothing gonna happen. Plus I don't wanna like take off my mic and then go all the way over there. I didn't even turn on the other light. I got to now. starving like I'm starving and I already started eating I don't know how I'm gonna edit this but one of the lights was off and the oven was on so I had to move I know what you're thinking Natasha you said that this was a seafood mukbang what is that is that pizza mm-hmm <laughs> and it's good um let me find out these aren't done. Oh my God, they're not. I'll be back, y'all. Good thing I didn't turn off the oven, right? I am so tired. And I gotta get over it. <laughs> I don't wanna feel like this. I got stuff to do. Too much to do. So y'all see me eating part of the pizza because pizza. So I went to this event yesterday. So I went to this event yesterday by this like, I think they're a production company. And it was called like a content creator walk or a content creator experience. I've never used this as a tool, but this is really smart. What have I been doing my whole life? Um, and it was really cool because it, it brings a lot of creatives together. But, and I've been like kind of rambling on about this on the, my different channels and mediums. I'm really tired of like paying for events. I, I feel like a lot of people now are starting to throw events just to throw events. This was not one of those. This one was cool. So we, we ended up going to a concert venue. And you could just like take pictures, film, blah, blah, blah. So it was legit. It wasn't anything that like, I would like, I probably wouldn't do it again, but it was still fun. And it was good networking. 
And a lot of the time you are going for the networking. So yeah, definitely make some good contacts. I think my problem in particular is, um, I think just kind of in the natural hair industry, like everybody's throwing events. A lot of people aren't marketing them well. So you don't even have a lot of people there, not like you, but like there's not a lot of people there to network with. And you just spend all this money to network and you're not leaving with anything of value. And that's my biggest issue. Like I, I really want there to be a refocus on the actual quality and what we're offering. Cause even when I did like my, my one year birthday party for my channel, which is actually about to come up again. Um, I didn't charge anybody. That money came out of pocket. And not that many people showed up because I don't know how to market either. <laughs> but I don't know. I wasn't charging people. It was free. So, I told you guys I'm, I'm mukbanging every day of the week. <laughs> of the week. But, um. But, I definitely let some people down on Friday. But I did not put out a new one. Something happened or I have something to do. Did I have something to do? What happened on Friday? I did something, y'all. This weekend was actually pretty busy. There's a lot going on. to a new place I finally found a place to move hold on like what's that gonna do with my crab legs connect though well I'm moving far bird <laughs> moving more north Because, excuse me, um, my blender broke in the middle of me making a smoothie. It didn't even finish. I wanted that smoothie so bad. I was hurt. Guess I'm in the market for a new blender. I knew it was like about to. What's the expression? Kick the pooch. I don't think that's the expression. <laughs> but I knew it was going to be gone soon. And I had it for like five years. I think it was.
was a wedding present. It was. It was for my mother-in-law. Hey, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you watch my bongs. These little claws are actually pretty helpful, y'all. <laughs> this whole time, all these years. Tiger Wood made his Tiger Woods made his comeback. After everybody told him that he wouldn't. Mmm. Jojo's not on here. He's not in here. I just thought of that. For anyone that was worried about Joe. He is not in the room. He don't care about his mom. He doesn't care about his mommy anymore. You know what's funny? I um, shouted Joe out on my Instagram. But I know a lot of y'all follow me on there. So I thought I shouted Joe out on my Instagram story. That little dude got like 14 new subscribers. <laughs> I was like, oh, y'all do love y'all some Joe Joe. That's my baby. Earlier today, he was staring at me. I was face camp. The. I was FaceTiming my friend David, and we sitting here talking it out. And all the while, Judge was like, that's his I'm ready to walk face. Why haven't you taken me for my walk? It is four o'clock. And <laughs> it is four o'clock and my walks are at noon. <laughs> He was mad. I got home late and I'm just a mess. I mean, I was so tired. I really just didn't feel like doing anything. Although it don't matter because it does not matter. <laughs> because you know I'm making a mess. I was gonna rewear these jeans. <laughs> throw events that don't have value. I'm all over the place today. I had that song stuck in my head. Just like music. Actually, I've had like some really random songs stuck in my head today. Not even stuck in my head. They just popped in my head and I found myself singing them. You want to hear them? Here they go. I was singing All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. I don't know why. Like. I don't know why. I was singing, I'll put a spell on you from Hocus Pocus. I was singing So Emotional by Carl Thomas. It's just been a day. I am making a huge mess. Y'all. Being a Nebraska girl, I grew up drinking, not grew up, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Being a Nebraska girl, I 
when I was, was 21, was drinking beer and it was Bud Light, right? I'm gonna say, if my nail messed up, oh my God. Excuse me. Side note, when people comment and tell me that my burps are forced, okay, girl, okay. If you say so, all I do is delete the comments, so I don't really know why y'all post them. And you get a slick eye roll. <laughs> if you don't like it, then I'm sorry. If you pay attention to the comments, sometimes people will point out when the burps are and you can just skip past those times. <laughs> um, but yeah, I grew up as a simple girl, drinking Bud Light, knowing nothing of any other kinds of beers. I moved to San Diego, lived here about four years, and then found out that there's this thing called craft beer with the flavors. Ew. That's gross. With the flavors. Ah, I should have got a bigger plate. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dang, I done lost my leg. There we go. Y'all don't need to see my mess anyway. Um, so apparently there's this thing called craft beer. <laughs> and it's all these flavors. <laughs> like, like they're all different flavors and styles. And it's just crazy because I didn't know that it existed whatsoever. And it's such a more flavorful way to get drunk. Sorry, that sounds horrible. But it is. Like you, all my ladies that are over 21, because I know most of y'all are girls. Um... Like you go to the club or the bar and you'll have like a drink and it'll be this is getting messy. Um, you'll have a drink and it'll be like some fru fru sweet drink or it'll be I don't know, let me see and Coke or I don't I don't drink brown, so I don't know. But like, I'll go and I'll just get like a rum and pineapple and call it a day, right? But those drinks are like super expensive, number one, because you're paying for the upcharge on that liquor. And I don't know. I'm not always in the mood for the liquor because of the hangovers. And now I just sound like I drink excessively, but I don't drink a lot. <laughs> just let that be known. Um, but like, apparently, that's was the secret society of beer that I did not know about. So last night, I had this beer that was like, it tasted like a creamsicle. Like, really. It tasted like... Mm, it tasted like one of those creamsicles that you get from the grocery store that are delicious. And I was like, what? And then the more I learned about crab beer, the more I'm starting to realize, like, this stuff is pretty alcoholic. Like a lot of it, you shouldn't, like you might want to share. Like one can, you may want to share with someone else. So. Ah! See, where's JoJo? That's what he get, he ain't in here. I would um say It might be something to look into. 
Because beer is usually not even that expensive either. Mm. Like you can pay. I think there was like this four pack of this beer. Don't judge me, y'all. It was called the Panty Peeler. <laughs> it was like eight and a half percent beer, but it was like a normal can. And um, it was so good. It was just delicious. But like one four pack of that was like eleven ninety nine, something like that. So yeah, I'm understanding where I live now, and apparently I live in like the mecca of craft beer. Might not be the mecca, but there's a lot of it here. Like my neighbor, ooh, my neighborhood alone, not my neighborhood, but like within like a five mile radius. There's probably like four or five breweries, at least four or five breweries. Oh, oh, here comes a little one now. Oh, I love that little Jaja. Oh, never mind. He just left. Oh, he came this way. Hi, baby. What's up, man? Oh, now you want me because I got food. Earlier, you didn't like me. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to wash this shirt immediately. I'm sure I'm going to have it stained. So, yeah. I would say... Possibly give craft beer a chance, guys. Because I didn't know what I was missing. This. And I would say if you like sweet stuff, because I like sweet stuff. Start with stouts. Start with milk stouts. Now I'm still learning though, so like don't come at me with your questions. <laughs> you know what? I take that back. If you do have questions, you can comment them. And I'll find out for you, but I'm not gonna know right off the top of my head. I probably, sh I probably should just act it like I was, I would know. It's not that big of a deal. What else is going on? So my friend, ooh, David, is um, he's a musician, and he helps me with like life. <laughs> he helps me with life. Um, and he has a music video that I did not know about. No, it hasn't been released yet. And he showed me his music video today. I was like, oh. Okay. It was so good. I was so proud of him. So when that drops, I'm going to tell y'all about it. Like, I'm going to link it or something so you can see. Because he's a good artist. You know how, like, people will be like, Oh, you know, my friend's a rapper. Or, oh, you know, my friend. Hmm. Here. Did you get it? No, oh, okay. And, oh, my friend's a singer and blah, blah, blah. And, like, sometimes we be loyal just as they are friends. <laughs> we like, you know, I'm always going to support you. This could sound a little bit better, but blah, blah. But David is actually, I actually met David through music. So I, I can't say that about him. <laughs> I feel like this is turning into so much shade. No. It was a good guy. But I really do get like in a way entranced watching people that I care about do the things that they love. It makes me feel so good. Like even like watching his video, I was just like, you know, cause I'm proud of you and I'm happy that you're doing what you want to do that makes you happy. And as a creative person, it's not always easy to be able to, you know, break out of that and just focus on the creative process. So when somebody does stray away from, you know, normal whatever normal life is 
whatever we want to define that as. And they're doing something that is completely out of their mind. It's like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. and it splattered everywhere. You have to look on the floor, baby. It's right by you. Baby. Okay, well, I'm just going to ignore you because there's a big piece of crab right by your foot. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Uh, hello, guys. Y'all are lit. Number one. Y'all just pushed me to like 3,600. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thank you. Hello. Like, thank you. I still don't know why y'all watch me. <laughs> but I love that you do. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this. So. Which is crazy because like now I'm actually looking at, oh, I'm going to put my mukbang on my Instagram channel. Oh, wait, my Instagram. My, it's not a channel. Oh, yeah, though, we do have channels on Instagram now. Oh, you found it, I see. Good job. So, but like before, I mean, I was like hiding this. Embarrassed to tell people about it. Like, you do what? You eat on camera. <laughs> but now it's just like having lunch with a friend. Even though I'm only talking to myself. But y'all hear me though? Mm, sound like a dog is. Oh, I guess it's barking. It's a weird bark. You heard that, dude? the last bite but it was still sad because it was my last bite all right guys i made a really big mess um again thank you all for subscribing thank you so much for watching like i love it jamie literally will text me and be like you hit this many subscribers he usually knows before i do which is probably sad i need to be better about my analytics but um, if you do want to see more videos from me, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get an alert when I post. I will see you guys tomorrow, and have a good night.